I'm standing here on the dock at uh, the provincial park entrance. It's just a paid entrance to get into uh, Flack Lake. It's, a, it's not actually run by the provincial park now, it's run by Elliott Lake because the provincial park uh, closed this, this park uh, and uh, the Elliott Lake decided in all their wisdom to take it over to keep it running. And they can hardly keep their own town running. I don't know why they decided to take the park over. But anyways, I would have rather seen the park go into uh, just a wilderness park with uh, no camping allowed. Or no organized camping anyways. Um, anyways, I'm down here at the, uh, the boat launch, Flack Lake. Of course, once you pay to get in here... You start seeing all these signs saying you can't do anything. So what's the sense of paying to get in here, really? Although that fishing sign is not accurate. I know that for sure. They put those signs up and, and you know, they shouldn't really. I complained to the MNR about these signs once because it's, fishing isn't allowed for most of the year. I know that. But in the summertime, fishing is allowed here, both in the park. Well, this is, is in the park. So, you know. Fishing is allowed here in summertime and they've got these bloody signs up making everybody think there's no fishing allowed here. There damn well is fishing allowed here. So get those signs down and put them up when they're applicable. Not now. Or now they are applicable. But uh, in the summertime they leave those signs up. And they shouldn't. Anyways, way out there you can see what I believe to be Old Baldy. I'm not certain, but that's the highest point around here, and, uh, you know, that's got to be it. Quite an ominous looking climb, isn't it? But, I'll be doing that climb within weeks, as soon as the ice is off these lakes. I went to check out some other um, access points that might have been shorter. Uh, but I, I haven't had any luck. Uh, the access point that I was thinking about there is just a swampy, tangled mess of dense bush. I did get to the shoreline, but it's it's a it's a nightmare getting in there. So there's no way I'm going to be able to get my kayak in that way. But I already have a, a way to get my kayak in, as you saw in the last blog post. So yeah, I'm not really concerned about that. There is one other place I I wanted to check. Uh, the seagulls are all coming back. I see them standing on the ice out there waiting for it to melt. They're probably thinking to themselves, what the hell's going on here? Let's see if I can zoom in on one. There he is. He's crying. He says, I want water. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. There's another spot a little bit farther back that way I want to check out. Uh, I'm not holding up too much hope because I did go in that way one time and uh, it didn't seem that it, that it did go down to the lake or easily anyways. So yeah, it's a beautiful day though for a hike. I mean, I love these kind of days. Cool and sunny, the sun is warm. It's still too much snow around though. I mean, I have to fight my way. Th if I'm going into the bush anywhere, I have to fight my way into the bush. Some kind of weird seeds on that tree there. Yeah. Yeah, this camera is not really focusing well when I zoom all the way out. Like I said, I took that long lens apart and it's not really meant to be taken apart. I had to unglue it, let's say, to get it apart. But when I put it back together, it, start, it worked. So I was pretty pleased with that. Uh, maybe I should start using going back to my SX40 which is still uh, has never been uh, damaged. Because the SX40 was uh, just as good a camera as this. The only thing is it, it doesn't have quite as much reach. It's only uh, 40 times and this one's 50 times lens. So that's why I tend to use this one more. Anyways I'll see what I'm gonna do. I mean I have my uh, my Rebel uh, T3i with me today too, but I, 
I don't like using that one so much. I mean, it takes better pictures, more clear, you know, uh, finer detail, but um, it's so awkward. Like, I mean, it doesn't have the telephoto reach this one has, and so if I see something far away, I'm handcuffed. I, I have a longer lens, but taking the, the lens off and putting the lens back on and carrying a lens, you know, it's just a pain. So that's why I don't do it. Anyways, uh, I'm going to walk back out to the highway now, and uh, I might check out another spot a little bit farther down the road there. We'll see.